Hello, boys and girls. Dexter here at the craft cupboard. I was just outside mowing the grass. I love the smell of grass right after it's been cut, don't you? Springtime is wonderful, isn't it? There are so many wonderful smells. Have you noticed? Why, just today I've smelled newly mown grass, lilacs blooming, and the special smell of the air when it just begins to rain. But back to the grass. It's not easy to believe, but that little green plant in your backyard is the world's most important crop. It's estimated that 20% of the world's vegetation consists of grass. So many, many animals depend on the grass all around the world, and so do people. I learned all about grasses when Miss Sheila gave me these books to read. While I was at the library learning about grasses, I was able to pick up this kit to make my own miniature backyard at home. And you can too! At the library! Hello, boys and girls. Here's what you'll receive when you pick up your taking a walk craft kit at the library. One sheet of green paper. One sheet of fun to draw bugs and insects. One black marker. Fine tip. A pair of scissors. And a sheet of butterfly stickers. First of all, take your green sheet of paper and fold it in half lengthwise. To do that, we lay it flat on a surface and bring the bottom part of the piece of paper up to match exactly the other side. Crease that down well. And that's what it will look like. Now we're going to open that back up just enough to take the bug designs and our marker and try to draw one of each of those bugs across the green sheet. Just like they look here. Do your best. I'll show you one that I've done. I started with a pencil. I was able to draw the ant, the ladybug, the bee, caterpillar and a snail, and a smaller snail. When you've drawn as many bugs as you'd like, take your paper and your scissors and begin to cut strips only on this side of the green paper, like this. And then, make sure you stop down there. The strips will be about one quarter of an inch wide. That means that four of the strips together would equal one inch. Cut all the way across your green paper. When you've done that, you'll find that you have what looks like grass. And inside that grass are your bugs. Take your stickers and put some more in there. And then imagine that you're taking a walk through the grass. <laughs>